Leaf case procedure for each CV in a cover filter implantation and retrieval. First, recommend percutaneous procedure for each CV in a cover filter implantation. Select a suitable femoral venous access site and puncture femoral vein to insert 6F sheath. Perform inferior vagic cover and geography to evaluate the diameter of IVC. If there is any thrombosis in IVC or not, etc., and to confirm the condition of the access vein, model the level of the renal veins, and determine the desired position for filter deployment. Tear the outer sheath, inner sheath, delivery cable, ETCV in a cover filter, and guiding sheath out of the sterile pallet. Flush the guiding sheath containing the filter with heparinized saline to eliminate air. Push the filter out of the sheath to check if the screw connection fit properly. After the above steps, pull the filter back into the guiding sheath. Follow to flush the outer sheath and inner sheath and insert the inner sheath into the outer sheath. Through the 0.035 guide wire, send the delivery sheath containing inner sheath into the inferior vena cover. Position the tip of sheath just below the opening of lower renal vein. Remove inner sheath and guide wire. Through the guiding sheath, load the ring with filter and delivery cable. Send each vena cover filter to reach distal tip of sheath. Fix delivery cable and pull sheath back until filter is fully deployed. Confirm filter was positioned well. Unscrew the delivery cable from the filter by rotating the cable counterclockwise. Filter can be retrieved into the sheath for repositioning if the positioning is undesirable. Then, remove the guiding sheath and delivery cable. Perform angiography to verify the result of the implantation, including position, shape of filter, angle between filter and vessel, blood flow of IVC, etc. Remove the delivery sheath and pressure bandage the wound. Second, recommend adhesive vena cover filter retrieval procedure. Prepare and flush venous fistula needle, dilator, 10F retrieval sheath, 0.035 guide wire and snare system. Advance the retrieval sheath through the 0.035 guide wire and place below the retrieval hook of the filter. Through guiding sheath, insert the snare until push out of the retrieval sheath and below the filter. Tune up the cable and capture the retrieval hook with a loop of snare. Then push retrieval sheath until the snare hook is tightly fastened. Advance retrieval sheath until the snare and the filter are completely withdrawn into the sheath. Remove retrieval sheath, snare and filter together. Check up if there is thrombosis in filter or not.
Evaluate the performance of filter with post-operative angiography. Pressure bandage the puncture point.